Okay, so I'm going to do real quick a CAS exam life contingencies problem that um, illustrates something that I think is useful for the exam. At least I think I'm going to want to know. Um, so let's say that the force of mortality is 2 over 100 minus x. Um, and we want to know the probability of the probability that a 65 year old lives 10 years and then dies in the next year. Okay, so this is like almost a Moivre, but really in a way not quite. So um, what you can actually do is that if you multiply <clears throat> the force of mortality that would otherwise be de Moivre by a constant, you can actually raise the survival probabilities. The survival probability will be what it would be if it was um, distributed according to de Moivre without this constant, and then raised to that power. Um, so here we want the probability that a 65 year old lives 10 years and then dies in the next year. That is the probability that 65 year old survives 10 years but doesn't survive 11 years. Okay, so 10p65, if it was uniformly distributed, um, or if it had a de Moivre distribution with a limiting age of 100, it would be 100 minus 65 minus 10 over 100 minus 65. But since we've multiplied the force of mortality by a constant, we're going to raise the survival probability to that constant. So that's our 10p65, and then similarly for 11p65, we'll have 100 minus 65 minus 11 over 100 minus 65. So just what it would be if you didn't have this constant, if this was just a 1, um, and you had a, the future lifetime had a de Moivre distribution with limiting age of 100. But then since we multiplied the force of mortality by a constant, we're going to raise the survival probability to that constant. Okay, and if you work that out, you should get 0 0.04. This is actually um, something called generalized de Moivre. So um, in the normal, normal de Moivre that you're used to seeing, this constant um, or this parameter is a 1. But in generalized de Moivre, you have this extra parameter um, alpha. Okay, and in the force of mortality, it shows up here, so alpha is 2. And in our survival probabilities, it's um, the exponent here, which under the de Moivre we're used to seeing is just 1, so it doesn't come into play. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will come in handy for you on the exam.